Migration, DACA, and pro-life issues are just some of the topics Bishop Designate Robert Brennan will be tackling as the new leader of the Diocese of Brooklyn. Ahead of Brennan's installation, I sat down with New York Cardinal Timothy Dolan to talk about Brooklyn's new shepherd. He's been described as the perfect choice to succeed Bishop DiMarzio. Well, look, the Pope appointed him, so it's got to be the perfect choice. <laughs> but I would agree. You know, when Bishop DiMarzio, look, this is a complicated process, and both Bishop DiMarzio and I were asked for names and all. And uh, even though you, you keep that very, uh, very confidential and you don't walk around talking, obviously I thought I need to talk to Bishop DiMarzio about this, and he wanted to talk to me. And as we, as we dreamt about people, uh, you know, you, you, as we described what we needed, when the Holy Father appointed Bishop Brennan, I said, wow, they listened to us. Because you've got, a, a go you got another street priest, okay? You got another hard worker. You got another guy that just basks in the company of, of a people. He's a natural, so we got good things coming. And I would reckon that, and I bet him a bowl of, of, uh, of uh, pasta, that he's going to work uh, closely with Bishop DiMarzio because he's a shrewd guy and says, I, I need that wisdom, I need that energy. So. so now that it's official, what do you think is the first thing Bishop Brennan should focus on? Any, any wise bishop, and he's a wise one, will say, instead of focusing on issues, I need to focus on the folks. So, and he's already said that. He said, I just got to get around. I got to spend six months to a year getting around, listening to people, meeting people, sitting down, let them tell me the issues. Let them tell me what's on their mind. Let them share with me their fears. Let them share with me their criticisms in the church, because there are many. And I need to hear that, and I need to say to them, I'm not threatened by this, and you can come to me anytime. So that's probably what he's going to do. How do you plan to work with Bishop Brennan to, to face well, the challenges you face? Well, I don't think it'll be new because, as, as I mentioned to you, I have enjoyed working closely with Bishop DiMarzio, and that'll continue. Uh, I look to him as a brother bishop. I look to him as a partner in the tremendous ministry of this of this capital of the world, as Pope St. John Paul II called New York. So you know what? Even if I didn't want to, I'd have to work closely with him. But I want to. So that's what we're going to be doing. Any, anything interesting about him that you could tell us that maybe we all don't know yet? He's just a remarkably friendly simple, and I use that in the biblical way, I use that as Jesus encouraged us to be a, a, a simplicity, a childlikeness. He doesn't want us to be childish, but he wants us to be childlike. And Bishop Brennan would have that. You'll often see Bishop Brennan when we're discussing a, a thorny topic. I'm talking about when he was back at the, uh, as the auxiliary in Rockville Center. When I would ask his opinion, you'd kind of see him just kind of get very pensive and just kind of slowly ponder before giving an answer. And that impresses me. He's not a, he's not a know-it-all. He's not a man with all the answers. I think we got a pro. Cardinal Dolan says Bishop Brennan's challenges include getting people back in the pews, a restoration of the luster of the church after the abuse crisis, and a need to reinvigorate parish life after COVID. You can see more of my in-depth interview with the Cardinal tomorrow when we talk about his decades-long relationship with retiring Bishop Nicholas DiMarzio. Meanwhile, Bishop DiMarzio is giving you the chance to greet Bishop Brennan ahead of his installation. Just go to the website dioceseofbrooklyn.org and click on the welcome banner on the front page. Then fill out the corresponding form and you can send him your prayers of support. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.